Yo, 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 yo. What's good with it? It's the homie Matt. Music art, culture, knowledge, reporting live from the Dogon, Dogon, Dogon. Each one teach one piece of love. Thumbs up, give me the likes, thumbs up, give me the likes. Before you watch this video, subscribe. Hit that like button, man. I need the algorithm to feel me, man. Um, yeah. So real quick, this is another uh, session of Mag Minutes. Um, the, I guess the thing that I've seen a lot of people talking about, like at the barbershop, and uh, I guess just on the internet, different internet spaces that I frequent, uh, they're talking about the Joe Budden and Drake situation. Basically, Drake just dropped an album called For All The Dogs. It just came out, uh, what's today? Today's Tuesday, it just came out this past weekend. Um, heads up, I am not, I am not a Drake fan. I, I respect what Drake does. I respect his success. I mean, he's got multiple albums that they're all like top, multiple albums, songs that are just topping the charts on iTunes, Apple Music, all that stuff. I respect his success. Um, but the thing is, I'm not, how do I say it? I'm not a fan, I don't check for his music, but I respect the fact that he has a formula that we, that, that has caused him to win consistently. Uh, the only critique I really hear people say is they feel like his music hasn't really evolved. Um, but I guess it's like, if it's, if it's not broke, what I say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, uh, it's working for him. I do feel like artistically, um, Sometimes I feel like he's all over the place as far as uh, like that certified Lover Boy album. It, it felt like it was more of like a, it didn't feel like it was hip hop. It felt like it was just something else. So sometimes I felt like with uh, with Drake, he goes into these different spaces where it's pop or where it's dance hall. So it's kind of like, I don't know if he really stays in pocket. I don't I don't know, that, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, but Joe Budden um, has some unsavory things to say about For All The Dogs. Um, basically critiquing it, saying he didn't, I didn't feel like he said it was garbage. I just kind of felt like he just was anticipating more. But uh, Drake definitely let the clip out in response. Um, said that, uh, you know, told me we had had, told, told uh, on, this is on, via Instagram. He told um, Buddy he had a failed music career. He's a failed rapper. Uh, you know, podcasting is your lane. You know, trash music. Um, and I guess my thing was, uh, I get it. You know, because it's like you keep taking shots at me. You want to say things about my music. But at the same time, uh, no artist is above critique. This is just kind of what comes with the game. Um, I respect Joe Budden's lyrics. Not, I wasn't necessarily. Uh, I, I like some of his mood music series, uh, some of the mixtapes that he dropped. Um, I wouldn't say he had a failed music career, but I guess if you're looking, it, it depends on what you value as a listener. Um, some people just like the art; they're just purists. They don't care if, if uh, a song goes quadruple platinum, they don't care about that. They just like the art. And then some people are more into the poppy side of it. You know, how did this resonate through pop culture? Did, how many streams did it get? Uh, where is it on the charts? Some people are stuck on that. And that's fine, it is what it is. Um, my issue with hip hop really is, everything sounds the same. And I get it. Uh, it's a business, so you see a formula that works, so you replicate it, because this is a business. Uh, and unfortunately, the artistic side suffers uh, as a consequence. Um, but I, you know, I'm, I just turned 40. Like, I'm not knocking out anybody eats. Everybody's trying to get it. <laughs> uh, and I, I'm not making, ex I'm not being like an apologist for just people who do egregious things to make money, just in general. But I mean, I, if I'm not feeding you, I can't really knock you on how you eat to each their own. Um, and I guess it's a thing where 
Drake can't rap. Like that song, 8 a.m. in Charlotte, like he snapped on that. Um, Drake, ben, ben had bars, he's a good writer. Um, but I just think he found the lane that worked for him. <laughs> you know, I, I think uh, through the annals of history and as uh, future generations come about, I think J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar's music is gonna resonate more because I feel like it has way more depth to it. Um, how old is Drake? Drake has gotta be in his mid, mid to late 30s, so he's trying to make an appeal to a younger crowd. But uh, when I saw him give his thank yous to Lil Yachty, I'm just kind of thinking, okay, yeah, this is definitely for, I guess he's trying to stay relevant. I don't know. It just, I never really respected Lil Yachty as an artist. So it, it just, this is, all I'm going to say is this album was not for me. Um, but at, at the same time, hip hop and its elder statesmen, just hip hop in general, but I guess that's just the nature of the beast. We're always going to be going at each other's neck critique and comment and it's competition but you just gotta let people like what they like man they like the bubblegum stuff hey it is what it is but i think it's interesting how uh the sales in hip-hop have plummeted um a lot of people aren't going to shows and i think that's i think a lot of it is because there's a lot of follow the leader there's not a lot of creativity going on i think people are so caught up in the TikTok and the snapchat and and the ig where it's like Fans are just connecting with what goes viral, but they're not necessarily connected with the artist itself, if that makes sense. Um, because, yeah, if you have an attachment to an artist, um, it goes beyond just a, a, a viral hit on Instagram or it's TikTok, you know? Uh, yeah, it is what it is. Um, has the art suffered? Yeah. But I think there, you know, I, I, I'm hoping that there will be a reckoning or a renaissance where people realize, you know what? We have to be organic with our music again, with our with our bars, with our content. It just can't be, uh, I want to make this quick hit, you know? But anyway, much respect to Drake, much respect to Joe Budden. Uh, I, I do feel like, you know, just because, yeah, Joe Budden has, has has had nowhere near the commercial success as a Drake, but that does not make his opinions and his critiques null and void. Uh, but yeah, and one, one interesting thing is, yeah, I saw a clip where Joe said, you know, the album isn't bad. Nobody talked about that part. He had his critiques for it, um, but they didn't, you know, but you know, uh, dissension, beef, that's what sells, that's what moves the crowd. So they're gonna make it seem as if there's a lot of, uh, I guess, what's the word I'm looking for? Just uh, division, people, that the beef, the discord, I guess, all that uh, is what gets things moving. But anyway, it's the homie Mac. Music, art, culture, knowledge, each one teach one piece of love. Signing out from the Dogon.